Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. That was so not on range. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of You Tried It, where me, Yuki, tries out different products for you guys. Now, the reason I have this face on right now is because I forgot to put this into my intro earlier, so here you go. <laughs> ColourPop and Makeup Shayla collaboration um, with their, what? No, hold on, sorry, repeat, okay. La, 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 la. La 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 Okay. <clears throat> Hello, if you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the ColourPop foundation and the ColourPop X makeup, Sh I hate saying X, the Makeup Shayla and ColourPop collaborate, co the new ColourPop and Makeup Shayla collaboration palette called Perception. It's actually the collaboration collection, but I only purchased the Perception palette. I initially didn't even want to film this video because I felt like there are, there are, uh, uh, I can't talk. <laughs> I did post up on Twitter saying, I bought this stuff, guys. You still care to see it? And some of you, or yeah, a good majority of you said, yeah, we, you know, we still want to see it. We still want to know what your thoughts are. Some of you, I'm, so I'm, wow. Okay. So I'm going to be doing that today. This is a struggle intro. I'm so sorry, you guys. So this is, Thank you very much. Okay, let's just do that again. Um, ColourPop opening case of party emergency. That's cute. And this is what it says on their website. Developed for the selfie age, our buildable full coverage natural matte foundation delivers flawless looking skin from day to night. The oil-free lightweight formula blends smoothly and is easily customizable to create the coverage you want. Build it up or sheer it out. It was developed with innovative soft blurring pigments. So the net weight is 25 milliliters or 0.85 fluid ounces. And on the website, it does have a tool where you can select your skin tone select your undertone and try to see what your shade will be and it also provides shades that reflect across brands so for example fancy beauty is on there as an example that you can use or if you know your maybelline fit me shade i was able to put in my fancy beauty shade and it told me that oh here is your color dark 175 that's the color you would probably match the closest to in the ColourPop foundation line. This foundation does have 42 shades, which is a really, really good, good job ColourPop. So I did purchase the Perception palette. This is their collaboration with Makeup Shayla. And I actually got two foundations. I got Deep Dark 185 because I did get significantly more tan lately as I've been traveling to really hot areas. And I also got Dark 175. And I did also purchase the Ellery collaboration with ColourPop. I got the Liquid Lip Shade in Netta. And so many people have spoken so highly of this palette. And I figured, let me go ahead and get it. This palette runs for $23. Their foundations run for $12, which is a really good price point. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm cheap. I will splurge on certain things, but I love a bargain. Here is what the Perception palette looks like. If it looks as though two shades have been touched, that's, that's because they actually have been, but I was not the one who touched them. So when I got this palette, actually it's not even two shades, it's several shades. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but Sassy, Diva, and TF, and a little bit of September, looks like they were either like swatched or touched or whatever the case is. I made it a point not to swatch this palette because I wanted to show you guys when I initially got this out of the shipping box, I was like, man, this sucks. I really wanted to be, to be able to use this, but they look like they've been touched and I just didn't have the time nor the energy to chase them down and be like, hey guys, by the way, this palette looks a little bit sketchy. Like, you know, someone maybe have mistakenly kind of rubbed their finger on it or whatever, but Diva definitely looks like it's been swatched. It has that swirl in it. TF looks like something happened in the corner there. Sassy looks like somebody just went bloop on the side. Same thing with September. So, oh gosh, I'm just gonna use an alcohol pad and disinfect it. Hopefully that does not affect the integrity of the eyeshadows, but it is what it is at this point. Like it's too late for me to 
you know, I mean, this is pretty disgusting, but what can I do? And I hope this doesn't affect the performance of these eyeshadows. Oh, well, my safety comes first. And uh, Lord knows ain't nobody got time for no eye infections, okay? Well, touching the eyeshadows, I can tell you that they're pretty soft, which is a plus, you know? I initially wanted to do an eight hour wear test, but uh, I filmed a video earlier today and your girl fell asleep because I was tired. And now it is 9.44 p.m. And um, I doubt that that eight hour word test is gonna happen. I'll try to keep the foundation on for as long as I possibly can. I've got dark 175 here. So here is what the outer packaging of the ColourPop No Filter Matte Foundation looks like. Similar to the packaging of their concealer, which I can appreciate that in terms of the continuity of um, their packaging. Now here is the actual foundation in all of its glory. I'm pretty nervous about this because one, there's no cap and that really bothers me. I get very, very scared that bad things will happen when there's no cap on a foundation. This is Deep Dark 185 and it looks like this will actually work better for me. I didn't want to just go to the next one above 175 because I knew that I needed a foundation that had golden undertones. So this is dark 175 and that's deep dark 185 right over here. So they're pretty similar just from the swatch. But I'm definitely leaning more towards deep dark 185. I mean, as long as they're blended out, I feel like either or could work. I think I'm gonna go with deep dark 185 for now. I'm sure within a few months, I'll be able to use dark 175 without any qualms whatsoever. So since they're so close, I'm actually gonna leave those swatches there and just add foundation over top of it. So I just took four pumps and I'm just gonna plop this kind of all over blends very well. I will go back in and um, reinforce the blend with my trusty blending sponge. This is nice coverage, you guys. So over the past few months, I haven't been using a primer because I just don't feel like it's necessary. I also do not take my foundation all the way down to my neck because I feel as though it tends to give me this weird sensation that my neck is irritated and I start to kind of get a little bit itchy and just, it just doesn't feel good. I don't like the way it feels. So I do match my foundation to my neck as much as possible, but I don't bring it down here. The most that I'll do is just under the chin. I do have hyperpigmentation as well as you guys can see. Lately, I haven't felt the need to color correct. And by lately, I mean like in the last maybe eight months or so. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. I have to clean up around my brows. I'm gonna do that using my Black Opal Flawless Concealer in the shade Honey. And I've been doing this thing where I don't conceal the top of my brows and it's it's working pretty good. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Makeup Revolution Concealer. Conceal and Define in the shade C12. By the way, this brush I'm using, um, it's an unlabeled brush, but it's from Le Page, Le Page Trends. I'm going to set the top portion of the concealer with some translucent powder, just to give me a more seamless blend up top. So the foundation is holding up pretty well. I am getting a little bit of gray. I'm not sure why. As I mentioned, I don't color correct. So I don't know if that is just maybe a little bit of my natural, whatever the heck this is, coming through. Time to get into the palette and start to play with some color. Here's a palette after I made an attempt to clean it. I'm gonna go in with Culture, which is this uh, light tan matte shade here. And then I'm gonna go in with Thick. I'm loving that blue I see though. I just might make this a blue situation. Okay, and I'm gonna take this up here. Why am I looking gray? Is it just me? As you guys may have already known, if you've seen some of my other detailed eyeshadow videos, especially the how to get the most pigment out of eyeshadows video, I don't set my concealer whenever I go in cause that actually helps you to get better color payoff. And I actually initially learned that from a Nikki Tutorials video. So I've been doing it since then and just kind of playing around with it. And it really, really, really helps. I sometimes I do get some splotchiness, especially up here with the blend. So I think what I'll start doing more often is applying some translucent powder just to that area to set just that upper portion where the colors tend to get splotchy and then that way I can reserve like you know this portion of the eye this space for the most intense pigmentation and then I'm gonna take thick right underneath where the previous color went oh my god look at that pigment oh 
Hallelujah. I'm very impressed. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm incredibly impressed. And I'm gonna take this color called Played Out. So I'm just gonna place that right in here. I might take a risk and just use September. And I know it's not going to stick to my eye because it has nothing to stick to. So I am gonna be spraying my brush with some Fix Plus. It's a little mini one, it's so cute. So I went in first with the eyeshadow and then, oh, that is gorgeous. That is freaking gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Body, yeah. Said you remember, buddy, <clears throat> Now remember all the love we shared September. Only you from love, remember. True love is here to stay. Ow. Dun, 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 dun. I'm sorry, Strut and Slay is calling out to me, so I'm gonna take Strut and Slay. So I'm going in first with my brush into the eyeshadow and then spraying my MAC Fix Plus on top of that. This I'm just gonna place in the middle as if it's fading into the purple. Look at that. Dimension, honey. What? What? Dimension. I'm just adding Strut and Slay to the inner corner. My one problem right now is the fact that this is still giving me quite a bit of gray. So I'm gonna go back in and add just a bit more of foundation. I'm gonna use my sponge just to blend out that perimeter so I don't have this huge line of demarcation. Looking at it right here, like this is good, but I feel like this is what it looked like initially and then over time it started to kind of gray out in that area. Okay, so right now we're looking good. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my no filter concealer, Dark 46. This is the shade that's supposed to be the same as their Deep Golden 60, which I formerly used to use. Oh, a bit of that gray is coming up. So I think when the foundation dries down, it doesn't retain a lot of those golden undertones. It still retains some of it, but not a whole lot because I'm starting to see a bit of gray kind of come through again. So I don't think it's a coverage issue. I think it's a foundation dry down issue. A lot of that area is gonna get covered up with concealer anyway, so I'm not really tripping. Oh yeah, other parts of my face, it is coming up a little bit gray. <laughs> I've mentioned it before to you guys, but I don't know if anyone else feels this way. Concealing for whatever reason makes me feel so satisfied. It's literally stress relieving for me, especially when the blend is coming out so effortless. Taking my handy dandy Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 35 Deep, and just push it in. Well, what do you know? My inner corner highlight actually stayed put. That never happens. I want that inner corner to pop a little bit more. Let's take Spill the Tea. These shade choices are really, really good. Sleek Contour Kit in Dark, per use. And I haven't really felt the need to contour my nose lately. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply my liner. While my lashes are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus. Loving this highlighter. It's also by Official Glam Beauty. I just look at that. Oh. This is an entire look. I'm sorry, I just... There's no two ways about it. And in case you're wondering, Official Glam Beauty is a black owned brand, just so you have that information out there. Ellery and ColourPop Liquid Lip in the shade Netta. I didn't get a chance to purchase the full collection, so I went ahead and got this this time around and it looks so pretty. Mm, it smells a little bit like cooking oil, which is weird because I've never gotten that from other lip products before. Wow, that is beautiful. When I initially purchased it, I believe I knew it was a gloss, but I just saw liquid lip on the packaging and thought, oh, Liquid lipstick, matte, you know? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is beautiful. Where has this shade been all my life? It reminds me a lot of the NYX round lipstick in the shade T. I've been looking for a replacement for that for the longest because it got discontinued such a long time ago. And this is a pretty close match. As of right now, it is 11.05. PM. I'll try to leave the makeup on for as long as I possibly can. 
However, I don't want to make any promises like, oh, it'll be a five hour word test or eight hour word test or a four hour word test because I really don't know. What I can say about the foundation so far, I love the price point. $12 foundation, I'm all for it. You guys know I'm a little bit on the cheap side sometimes. I mean, I will splurge, but it's not an all the time thing. I would like to have products that are reasonably priced, but still effective, still affordable, still good and work well and are good quality. Um, and I feel like that this foundation so far has delivered. I don't know what it will wear like in the next few hours, but we'll see. As far as the coverage, I do feel as though it is good coverage. Um, pretty medium coverage, I would say. This shade in particular was giving me a bit of gray tones, especially around my mouth. But even turning to the side earlier on before I had other complexion products on my face, I did notice that that gray tone was kind of translating throughout the entire um, face where the foundation had been placed. So I think that this particular shade is drying down a little tad bit gray, but not enough that I would not wear the foundation shade. I do need to test out um, the other one, which was Dark 175, and see if that one gives me a little bit of that as well. But I think it's more of a dry down issue than it is an initial undertone issue. The palette, love the eyeshadow palette. Very versatile, very replicable in the sense that you can do so many different eyeshadow looks with this one palette. And the fact that it comes with a mirror, it makes it incredibly travel friendly. The size makes it incredibly travel friendly. The price point is great. 16 shades, $23. I don't think that's something you can beat, especially for the kind of quality that you're getting. Right up my alley in terms of affordability and quality and pigmentation. Shayla and ColourPop, you guys, did that on this palette. Now I see why everybody was kind of raving about it. And this Netta lip, oh my goodness. This is the lip I've been looking for to replace my NYX. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. My NYX round lipstick in the shade T, I've literally been taking a brush and digging out the product from that stupid lipstick. I don't know why NYX discontinued it, but this is a very close replacement and I am so sorry. I apologize in advance for all the times that I'm gonna be using this exact lip product in my looks and this eyeshadow palette in my looks because it is just that good. I'll see you guys in a little bit. The lip will probably be gone by then because I do need to eat and I'm gonna edit the video that I filmed earlier so I can get it up for you guys. And um, yeah. Oh, yes, that's it. Work, work, work. Work. Okay, sorry, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. It is currently 5.21 a.m. Okay, so a little bit over six hours, which is not too bad. As you can see, I'm getting quite a lot of lines coming through, especially around the mouth. I do notice that looking at it now compared to what it was like previously, I feel like it got a little bit more gray slash pale. I don't really know how to explain it. So as far as like around the um, mouth area, I was eating, I was drinking, I am shiny on my nose. I am getting oily right in here, but my nose seems to be the worst and my chin is pretty um, oily as well. It still looks pretty nice, at least to me. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I've kind of already given you guys all my thoughts concerning this foundation and also concerning the Perception eyeshadow palette. By the way, the shadows actually held up very, very nicely. I don't have creasing, I don't have any loss of pigmentation. I feel like it just it still looks really, really good. So yeah, that is all for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something enjoyed this found it entertaining I don't know I just feel like this is ColourPop foundation review number 2625 once again thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video Lord willing stay blessed bye Whew, I gotta go to sleep I'm tired